So basically what I'm doing today guys is I am trying to fish for panfish. So that would be sunfish and bluegill, but there are some crappie around here as well. Just what I'm trying to do here is just cast underneath this little bow house here. And it seems like usually the further back I get, the more bites I get. I've tried to fish all out here and uh, nothing ever really bites. But they seem to be stacked up just underneath here. There's one. It's a little guy. Probably let that one go. I was here with my buddy Jay, and we were catching quite a few fish out of here. The two of us. And we were just using the same bait all day long, too. And it uh, just kept producing fish. And it's really simple looking bait too and easy to fish with that's even smaller than the last one here's the bait here and uh, it comes in a little jar and these are they're charged with uh, a liquid scent one thing I would like to mention about these jars them in uh, say like my jacket here or something and I don't know if the lid just wasn't on tight enough but I've had these jars leak like crazy and then all that scent gets all inside your pocket or one other time I had this stuff inside a, a bag that I keep all my other plastic baits in and uh, it leaked out on everything, so everything was just a sticky, stinky mess, so that's why I put them in their own bag, just in case. Panfish seem to love it. I, I did have a the 2 inch version before, and I found that I was getting a lot of bites on the tail mostly, so I would have to break off a bit of the head part on on the bait so uh, this time around I got the one inch version and I wasn't too sure how, how well it would fish but it actually seems to be doing an alright job I don't really notice much of a difference there we go it's not too bad every now and then I just give it a couple quick twitches and let it sit try to uh, initiate some kind of a bite response out of the fish. And there's one there. They've been biting really light too. Sometimes your float's just barely moving in a direction that you're not expecting it to and sure enough it's a fish so I have to pick up on those little subtleties. That one's not very big either. But just imagine how fun this would be if you have kids. And it's an easy, simple bait to, to fish with too. I just have it rigged up on a, a little slip float. And uh, I'm not fishing very deep at all, maybe a foot and a half. Like I said, I'm just twitching it every now and then. Let it sit for a little bit. And that usually calls them in. There's one there. Yep. See, like, if you had kids and they're catching fish this often, I don't think they would get too bored. There we go, that one's a little better. I'll keep that one. Since here in Ontario, if you have the sportsman license, you can catch I believe it is 50, 5 zero. So, and that's per person. So if you're catching a lot of sunfish, 
you're gonna have a good little fish fry. So that's basically why I'm out here doing this, is because I wanna stock up on some of these tasty little fish again. Running low, that's a little better one. Yes, that's a good one right there. That's a nice fish, it's not too bad. I would prefer bigger, but in this spot, they don't seem to be too huge. So I'll take what I can get. Ultimately, I'd love to get into some crappie, or crappie, however you want to pronounce it. And uh, I don't know how abundant they are in this particular spot. But my buddy Jay did catch one the last time we were here by casting way underneath there. That was bite right away. Oh there, little one. Well, that's not too bad actually. I thought it was smaller than that. <laughs> Shouldn't have let that one go. <laughs> oh well. What I'm trying to do with these fish to, for the hook set mostly is just try to reel up all the slack line first and then just sweep the rod into it. Sometimes they're, they're not biting and committing, so you can't get that good hook set. There it is there, that worked. Not too bad, but a little on the small side. what I just caught recently guys I think I've finally found a pattern here I didn't even know that there was crappie in this spot and then I started using some different lures some different minnow style baits and then I just put this grub on with the, uh, the orange twister tail and they are slamming it I'm gonna see if I can get another one Yep, there's one. There's a fish. Oh, it just let go. Starting to wonder if they caught on to me. Haven't had any more bites on this thing. This feels like a really good crappy. Oh yeah. That's a nice one right there. Oh, yes. There we go. It's not massive, but that's a keeper. 